everybody it's bailey baby welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel i'm bailey and hello and if you're a returning subscriber what's up okay so as y'all can see by the title of this video today i'm going to be testing out cheap nail products from wish now so far this experience from ordering from wish is like eh. <laughs> like i give it like a six to between six to seven stars out of ten and that's just based off of like what I've seen out of the package. I haven't completely opened up my stuff, but like just opening the little package that it comes in and just checking it out, like it's just that. And then the shipping, like how long it took is ridiculous kind of to me, in my opinion. Cause when I have ordered from China through Etsy, like it has never taken this long before. Like that shit takes about like a week. This stuff, some of this stuff took over a month while some took about two weeks, which is about this about right. And I did order all this stuff before this virus stuff happened, so just putting that out there. I started ordering this stuff from like December to like early, De um, early January. So like, yeah, this stuff was like right before all the, like the breakout happened and everything was shutting down and all that. So I just wanted to clarify that out, put that disclaimer out there. So I'm not gonna show them on camera like right now i'm about to go ahead and flip my camera and show y'all all the products that i got and i'm gonna go ahead and put on the screen how long it took about to get for me to get them and i'll leave a link for all of the products that i'm testing out in the description box but since i've recently checked um their website most of the stuff that i did order is like sold out but sometimes it gets stocked again so like it like varies but i'll leave everything in the description box though just in case they restock it and so y'all could go ahead and purchase it and try it out for yourself so yeah let's go ahead and get right into this okay, video so i just want to go ahead and say this i am outside and right now as y'all can hear there's birds chirping so yeah but this is like really the only place where i have like good sunlight to show y'all what i got so the first thing that i got wear these nail tips so they're just stiletto nail tips i'm not sure i'm about to open these and see y'all they don't even got the fucking numbers on it and it's not like there's a number on the bag so what the hell i can already tell i'm not about to be a fan of these because what the f what why y'all not got the numbers on the tips i've never had tips that never had numbers on them what the heck? This is okay. I guess we'll just see how they work on nails, I guess. Okay, so the next thing that I got were these ball tools. And um, I've had these particular type of ball tools before. And I've had them for over like five years. So they work pretty well. Like they haven't broken or anything like that. Next thing I got were these glitters. They're iridescent glitters. So there's like stars, circles, moons, stars again, I guess. So there's big stars and small stars. Flowers, butterflies, I think the butterflies are right there. I can't really see, they're not focusing. I, yeah, the butterflies are there. And then there's, um, I don't know what those are necessarily called. Some type of shape that are kind of like a star. I think they're four point stars, I'm not sure. And then, these hearts are so yeah they're big hearts so there's big hearts little hearts triangles small circles and then diamond shapes i don't know who packaged this thing up though but y'all all of my there's so much glitter that like is leaking out type shit like that shit's not cool the next thing I got is this chrome powder. Now, I'm kind of upset it didn't come with the eyeshadow because I felt like if you see the pictures, it you would think it would come with that, but no, it didn't. That's the name of it. The next thing I got were these gems and glue. So that's what they look like. So it's not really much, but we shall see how they look on the nails. Okay, here's the nail glue that it comes with next thing i got is this neon pigment or powder pigment Ooh, i forgot it had that residue in there like that so as y'all can see it's like a rainbow color so 
There's a purple, a blue, a green, a pink, a orange, and a yellow. I'm not. Sh I don't think these can come apart from each other. To be honest, so I believe they stick like this. So I, I look. You don't even want to try. Let me try to open it. Yeah. It, cause basically this part. Where the purple is at basically is the lid to the blue so yeah there's no way of tearing like taking them separating them basically so yeah next thing i got were these glow in the dark pigments now y'all <laughs> when i tell y'all i had gotten a refund asap oh my gosh this stuff is all over my hands anyway when i got in a refund as soon as i got in this i did that shit asap this yellow one right here got a piece of hair in it if y'all look closely, try to focus. Y'all see that little piece of hair right there? I don't know whose DNA this is, and y'all can see this is not opened at all. Somebody's DNA was in there. So far, this one, yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I would though. Well, I don't know. We about to see how these other colors are, but yeah, I'm not using that yellow at all because that's just unsanitary as hell. That's disgusting. Next thing that I got were these dry flowers, and as y'all can see, these are not vibrant at all. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all a picture, like which every with everything. Obviously, y'all seen the pictures for everything else of how they were supposed to look, and then this is what I got. I got poofy colors. One of the customers who got the exact same thing that I got when they did their little review online, and they showed a picture of what they got. Their flowers were vibrant as hell, as y'all can see now these these is poopy colors so i said uh-uh y'all need to give me a refund for this because y'all did not send me what was in the picture so in replacement of this i'm still gonna test these out regardless though because that's part of this video but i did buy new ones because i wasn't playing no games so i got these instead and even with these i'm not sure if this was the exact same picture that ebay had because i got these off of ebay but i definitely got another one because i still wanted some vibrant flowers but i'll probably test these out in the video as well i don't know why this blue one is over here covering up the tiny reds but at least with this one i got like little tiny flowers and some big ones but i'm upset though because i was really excited to get a big pink flower i mean i kind of got that one there but like that's just not cool so the next thing i got was this jelly polish so i've never tried jelly polish before this is my first time trying it Bro, come on, seriously? Okay, so like before I got interrupted by people talking and then the ambulance, hopefully it, whoever they going to is okay though, or whoever they got in the car is okay. But anyway, so I got this jelly polish and it's a pink color and they said to apply it here so you could try it out, I guess, but yeah. So I'm actually kind of excited to try this out though, to be honest. It's a small bottle, but it seemed like It seem a little sticky kind of but that's the pink it is though so we gonna see how this comes out to be though I guess so the next thing that I got is this hollow chameleon nail glitter so that's what it's called I'm really excited to try this out as well although like you could rub it in or it's like y'all could kind of see it's like a little bit of flakes so i'm about to use it as flakes i'm not gonna try to rub it in because that's what this eyeshadow piece is for but i'm probably gonna use that for my chrome powder to be honest when i test that out but yeah i'm really excited to see how this comes out because this just seems so pretty and i love the colors so yeah excited to try this one out okay so the last thing that i got is this glitter mix now from what i looked at the picture and looking at this again It's like, I don't know, it kind of is kind of what the glitter mix looks like. It's small though. It looks pretty actually. This is actually pretty. It looked like it was just straight up pink and I'm like, it's supposed to have some gold in it, but this actually looks pretty. This would be a pretty mix to put in some acrylic, some clear acrylic and use it as a, um, a natural acrylic color. That's pretty. So yeah, this is the last thing that I got. So now I'm about to go ahead and test these products out. Okay, so I started off by prepping the nails for each set. And for the first set, which is the Jelly Butterfly Rose Garden set, I used the nail tips that I purchased from Wish. The last two sets, I used nail tips that I purchased from Amazon. 
but anyway y'all i wasn't a huge fan of these nail tips like first you know they weren't numbered and then they run really big to me so i was having difficulties trying to find the right size for these and they were just difficult to glue on like it was just too much but since they run big i can only imagine how they would be on a person's hand so yeah i, I don't really like these tips that much And then after that, I used my nail cutter, the nail clippers, and my file, my hand file to shape them into square shapes. And then after that, I used my e-file to take off the shine. And this is how they look. And then for this glitter mixture here is a mixture of glitters that I bought from other places and from Wish. So the glitters from Wish are the tiny circles, the hearts, the four point stars, and the flowers. And then these are the other glitters that I mixed in as well. And the butterfly glitters that I'm showing y'all here are the ones from Wish and ones that I bought from Etsy. And then the flowers, the whole flowers are the ones from Wish and then the tiny ones are the ones that I bought off of eBay. So for each nail, I placed a thin layer of the clear acrylic and then placed the flowers in the middle of the nail. And then I placed a few butterflies on the top and the bottom part of the nail. And then I placed the glitter mixture throughout the whole nail. So after I did that, I capped all the nails in clear acrylic and this is what they look like. On to the next set. For this set, I'll be testing out the glow in the dark pink pigment, which I'm showing here, and the glitter mixture. So I made my own acrylic with each of those, with the glow in the dark pigment and the glitter. So for the glow in the dark acrylic, I did two parts of clear acrylic and then added about three fourths of the glow in the dark pigment. And then I mixed it all together. And then for the glitter acrylic, I did like one and a half parts of the clear acrylic. And then I added the glitter by eyeballing how much to put in there. So yeah, I just basically eyeballed how much I put in there. And then I mixed that all together as well. And then here I'm using the acrylic on my swatch sticks to show y'all what they look like. So this is the pink acrylic and then here I'm doing the glitter acrylic. that's what it looks like and for this set um the f index finger the middle finger and the pinky i did an ombre with both acrylics so the pink is at the top which is closer to the cuticle and then the glitter is at the bottom of the nail and then for the ring finger the whole nail is just the pink acrylic color now i wasn't able to film me doing the ombre or doing the ring finger because let me tell y'all it was really really hot outside i had the mask on it's hard for me to film while doing nails 
and it was just it was too much so I stopped filming for a little while but after I did all those I capped them in clear again and this is how they're looking so on to the next set. For this set, I tested out the neon pigments and the glow and dark pigments together into one acrylic color. So for each acrylic color, I did two parts of clear acrylic and then about three fourths of the neon, or not neon, the glow and the dark pigment, and then like a little bit of the neon pigment. And as y'all can see, when I started mixing this in, it looked chunky. Like the neon pigment was very chunky. At first I thought it was chalk and I was like, oh no, this is not going to mix in all the way. But once I put the lid on the container, it started to um, mix all together very well. So this is how it looks. And then here I'm doing the blue color. And after I mixed them together, I thought they were a little bit too dark, so I added a little bit more clear. So this is how they look in the end results. And then I'm using my swatch stick again to show y'all what the colors look like. And this is how they look. Now for this last set, I did marbling with the two colors on the index, the middle, and the pinky. And I would have to say for me to do marbling with acrylic for the first time, I think these came out really cute. Like out of all the three sets that I tested out for this video, this is definitely my number one favorite set. Like these colors are just so pretty together and everything is just like, oh. But um, yeah, for my first time doing marbling, I think I did pretty good. At some points, I could have left it alone and leave it where it was at. But overall, I think for my first time, these came out really pretty. So this is what they look like so far. And then onto the ring finger, I tested out the chameleon um, hollow flakes. And y'all, this is so pretty in person. Like these colors together are just so pretty. And as y'all can see on my finger, it like rubs in together like a pigment. But anyway, for the base of this nail, I did my milky white mixture that I made my own and clear. And I marbled that together and did a little thin layer of that. And then I placed the flakes in like a little swirl shape or like a little swirl look on the nail. So this is what they look like. And then after I did that, I added a little bit more of the marbling on top. And then I capped all the nails in clear acrylic. And then this is what the last set looks like. So after I did that, I took my e-file. I used my pointy nail bit. I'm not sure what it's called, but I used that closer to the cuticles. And then I used my 120 nail bit on the rest of the nail. 
So I just filed them down and then I used my hand file to shape out the, or to reshape the nails. So this is what the first set looks like. The second one. And then the last one. So after I did that, I buffed the nails and then I put on the gel top coat. So for this set, I tested out the jelly polish. And as y'all could see, which I'm about to show y'all in a second, look at this reveal though, it's so pretty. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was very pigmented. So I used that basically all that I used on that one nail. I used it throughout the rest of the nails so it would be um, pretty light. But this is how they came out. I also added another second coat of the gel top coat. But yeah, that's what they look like. And then for this set, I did the first coat and then I tested out the, um, the chrome powder so this is what i'm doing right now and that chrome powder did not work i'm not sure if it's because i didn't use a no wipe gel top coat or what but yeah y'all can see it like did not work at all then i tested out the jewels on this like the crystals and y'all this nail glue do not i don't recommend this because i accidentally got the nail glue because first it wasn't completely open so i tried to open it and y'all I finally opened it and it got on my alcohol wipe and my alcohol wipe accidentally touched my tote, my plastic tote, and it started burning. Like it started making a sizzling noise. I was like, uh-uh, nope, nope, that gotta go in the trash. So I basically did a thin layer of the gel top coat and then placed the crystals on top. And then I added a third coat on that particular nail, but a second coat on the rest of the nails. And then for this set, I just did two coats of the top coat. it's glowing <laughs> it was so pretty i had to film that but anyways this is how they look after i took them out the lamp so here's the end results of the nails so this is the jelly rose butterfly garden one the glow in the dark glitter ombre stiletto ones And then here's a little clip of them glowing in the dark. And then here's the last set, which is my favorite one, is the marble chameleon set, I guess is what I'll call them. And then I also insert a clip of them glowing in the dark as well. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, click subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video.